Hey YouTube, want to do a quick video on the Intel Compute Stick. Want to show some gaming performance. Um, this one is Castle Crashers. It's a pretty popular um, multiplayer game. Um, it's one of those games where you can pop the, U the Intel Compute Stick in the back of a TV and connect a, uh, an Xbox 360 receiver and, and have a bunch of friends play. Um, I am running the Compute Stick in performance mode. I do have a USB powered hub connected to it. Um, the difference in frame rate is about five to six frames per second in performance mode so just want to put that out there um, I'm gonna be running this game at uh, low settings at 1080p um, go ahead and show you real quick so uh, 1080p uh, low settings vsync is off uh, texture quality is standard as well um, so if you look over in the left hand corner I'm running MSI Afterburner uh, with the RTSS server along with hardware info. Um, so you'll see here at the top top left um, is the frame rate. Uh, below that is the CPU uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, with each has their temperatures and then to the right shows their CPU usage. Below that is the system memory usage and below that is the GPU usage and below the GPU usage is the VRAM usage. Um, and then below that um, uh, to the far left where it says 65C that is the temperature of the GPU and to the right of that is the GPU uh, core clock speed right now it's at 620 megahertz and then over to the right of that you'll see um, four numbers and those numbers are the CPU uh, core clock speed so you'll see those fluctuate as we play right now they're kind of down clocking and, and they'll obviously uh, be all over the place um, while we're playing the game but um, Let's go ahead and get started and see how well this game runs um, at 1080p at standard settings with uh, VSync off. Again, this is in performance mode. I did test in standard and performance, and like I said, the difference was five to six frames per second. Uh, but when your frame rate is kind of low, um, it makes a huge difference. So we got in the, we're in the 40s frames per second, which is pretty good considering. You see the CPU core clock speeds have been kind of stabilizing at 1333 megahertz kind of sitting there along with the GPU core clock speeds around 520 and bouncing back between that and 620 megahertz. Um, temperatures really aren't that bad. Uh, you may know that the Compute Stick does have active cooling as a small little fan that does help with, uh, with cooling the SOC and pretty much everything else um, on the tiny little PCB, but surprisingly the frame rates are, this is, this is playable. This is very playable. Um, I'm assuming with a couple more players on screen, the uh, frame rates will drop a little bit, I'm sure, but even then, at 30 frames per second and above, this game is plenty playable. I'm seeing the CPU cores uh, three and four approach uh, the mid 70 C range. Still okay, it's not throttling at that temperature. CP, uh, uh, sorry, core megahertz on the CPU is still, well, it's kind of fluctuating a little bit as you see. But when the action is going on, it's stabilizing in that close to 1300. And CPU usage is kind of, um, it looks like it's a bit multi-threaded, or a couple cores at least. I'm 
So I really haven't, as far as, I've, as far as I can tell, I haven't seen a dip below 30 yet. So I'm seeing, you know, 30 and up. So it's pretty good considering. I do have a, a Zotax Pico that will play this game at, um, it has the same SOC, um, but it is a little bit larger of a unit, so the cooling is, it doesn't have active cooling, but it has a, uh, a larger heat sink and whatnot, so the, uh, the heat transfer is, would be, is obviously much better than what the uh, compute stick is capable of doing. Um, regardless, the frame rate um, on that unit is about 10 frames more per second on average, I would say, so it is definitely a difference, but again, this is still very playable. Um, and this is a compute stick. This is a tiny form factor, so impressive. Um, all right, that's Castle Crashers at 1080p standard settings uh, with a compute stick at performance settings. See you later.